astrologers, who have constantly been observing astrospace, possess the occult abilities to explain and predict everything in the world, including both about their processes and results. To become an astrologer, candidates should pass rigorous assessments, which will test both their willpower and astrological abilities. Going down the generations, the elders finally select Esmeralda, a young girl living in the western desert, to be a new successor in the land of dawn. After becoming the successor of the astrologers, Esmeralda guards the star moon casket that has been passed down for generations. With the hope of opening it and gaining the mysterious power from the ancient times, Esmeralda leaves off to the Minos Labyrinth to find secrets of the star moon casket. But unfortunately, on her way to the Minos Labyrinth, the ground suddenly shakes and the desert falls into pieces, followed by a black sandstorm. All of a sudden, the star moon casket opens and a stream of mysterious power fills in Esmeralda. Under the protection of the mysterious power, Esmeralda gets no harm and feels old memories flashing back through her mind. She feels the star moon casket is calling for her, reminding her that Guthra, the ruthless tyrant of the western desert long ago, has recovered himself. Following the lead of the star moon casket, Esmeralda changes direction to the deep desert where there stands an ancient city. After the star moon casket opens, two streams of power coming from it begin centering around Esmeralda, frost moon, enriched with magic, and stardust, filled with great power. Impressed by the might of the star moon casket, which was only spoken of in tales before, Esmeralda recalls the memories from the first generation of astrologers. When Esmeralda approaches the ancient city, she vaguely feels an unknown love story between Kufra and some astrologers. Seeing the end of their love, Esmeralda somehow feels sad and sorry. But it's her mission to seal Kufra and return the peace to the western desert. Mm -hmm.